is DDK and guess what? Something terribly happened yesterday. So I wake up my normal routine, everything cool, everything smooth. At this point in time, I don't have any orders. And finally, a order pop in from Sun Riggity. So we about to pull up and get busy, G. Y'all know who pulling up, my guy Ken, so we can run up these dividends. If you, hey, don't forget, hate is a sin. <coughs> that 30 piece spicy, talk to me nicely. This joint is a 30 piece spicy. When we gonna do what we gotta do, you know, I'm all sick in the flu. I thought y'all knew. I love them hunters, especially when they blue. <coughs> Y'all see what's going on, we double strap. Now it's time for us to pull up and get to this money, no cap, let's go. <coughs> we busting out the back door, busting out the back door. About to put everything right here. We out here, we trying to get in the clear, let's get it. I just want to let y'all know right now, it is Eskimo outside. So we're going to do what we got to do, and then we're going to slide. Let's go. Last one. Shout out to everybody. It's Sun Run. We already getting these funds. It's time for us to pull up. We already pulled up. It's time for us to run. Let's get it. We already know what time it is. We gotta step back in with the photo. You already know. Smack. That's one. Number two. Step back in with the photo. You already know. Smack. We gone. So as you guys just saw, we knocked that order out. Everything was smooth. Everything was cool. It wasn't the greatest order. I'm gonna tell you guys the details of it. It was 30 panels. We drove 7.4 miles for $72. Now I understand, I understand. I would never do that, it's absolutely terrible, I understand. But my whole theory behind this was, I'ma go out here, I'ma start off today with an order right now, and then I'ma go out there and get busy after that. But guess what happened? Nothing else happened after that. We did that order, we knocked that out. The plan was to drive around and see if we can get some more orders, but we didn't get anything. We ended up sitting around for two whole hours, right? So boom, after that, no routine. Now it's time for to go back home. I go back home, I'm in there editing some shorts, I'm getting that together, getting that together, boom, right? My business partner called me like, look, did you see that order on Dispatch? I was like, no, I ain't seen no order on Dispatch, nothing popped up. She's like, I just got this order to drive 86 miles for $154. I'm like, okay, bet, let's go. So boom, she pulled back up, picked me up, I, uh, we get the driver, right? We riding around and we getting it. We riding around and we getting it. We riding around and we getting it, right? We get like halfway there. And then we just drive and we listen to that Perspectable Bank uh, podcast. We chopping it up. We about to go make this $153, $154, right? Boom, we riding. Then all her. I'm like, I'm. this is what I'm thinking. First, I don't know, because I'm not driving, she driving. So she driving and I'm thinking like, did we like go over an uneven part of the road or the highway or did we roll over, did we drive over something? like, I don't know what's wrong with the van. And I'm thinking like, I ain't know what was wrong with it either. I'm like, dang. I'm thinking we got a flat tire or something. I'm like, dang, we got the flat tire. We got to pull over. I'm at the, uh, get that joint right so we get our pocket tight. Guess what? We still drive. It goes down from like 70 miles per hour to 65 miles per hour. We can't go over 65 now. It's steady doing it. That boy jerk like the new boy. Jerk, jerk, jerk like the new boys, right? So I'm like, dang, what is wrong with this joint? So then the check engine light pop on. Then that joint still jerking, jerking, jerking. Then it go from 65 down to 60. So I'm like, bam. So we all, we actually missed the exit. So the exit was right there, but we couldn't get over in time. We was about to try to get over, uh, get, in, get over and get out the exit, but we couldn't do it. It was a semi right there. So we had to drive like maybe three more miles down the road. We in the slow lane. We had to go 60 miles per hour. It's super critical, right? So we pull off the highway. We pull into the gas station. Now we trying to find a spot to park in because this is a, a gas station for semis. We trying to find a spot, a spot to park in, but we don't want to interrupt what the semis got going on, because it's state territory. We don't, we don't want to be parking this van over there, but we finally park, find us a spot, we pull in, right? We turn the van off. I'm like, damn, I don't know what's wrong with this joint. This joint tweaking. And, I, and on, on, a phone, on my phone, I have an app for the uh, for the van. It didn't tell me nothing was wrong with it. The check isn't light on. I'm like, dang, this joint tweaking, right? So now I'm like, what are we going to do? So then we turn the, turn the van off, then we turn it back on. That joint still uh, jumping. Uh, uh, jerk, uh, 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 doing that, right? So I'm like, open the hood. So boom, I look under the hood. The engine just, it's, it, I mean, it's running still, but it's like, so I looked it up on our way uh, to the gas station and it's like, either it's gonna be uh, spark plugs, a, um, a air filter, 
Um, it could be a motor mount or it could be something wrong with the engine. It's one of those four things. So I'm like, dang, the check engine light on. I'm thinking like, okay, cool. I'm thinking that possibly, that joint is jerking like a new boy right now, but honestly, when you have a bad motor mount, it just seems like the transmission kind of messed up. Cause when a motor tilt like that, when you uh, change gears, you like uh, make a little noise like that. Like boom, it's, a, it's like, a, it's like a, a slippage, but it's not. Pause, so boom. I'm like, it has to be the spark plug. So we turn the van off, that joint still tweaking. So we made like 10 minutes. We pull, we chilling, we chilling, we chilling, we chilling. I'm like, dang, man, I hope. Now at this point now, guess what? We had that $154 order and we also had a $42 order for the next day. I'm like, dang, man, we, we that's like $200 right there. I'm like, man, look, honestly, you gotta cancel the order. So my business partner ended up canceling the order. I'm like, dang. Now I'm worried about, we gotta try to at least make it home. Cause I don't wanna get the call the tow people. They gotta come tow. I mean, we got AAA and all that, but I ain't trying to do all that. Then we really gonna be waiting here for three hours, two hours. So I'm like, okay, cool. So she canceled the order. I had to cancel my order for the next day for $42. And I'm like, let's turn the van on and try to just drive. We just gonna have to, hey, we gonna have to thug it out. If we had to pull over a few times, we gonna take the furniture road, the back roads. We ain't gonna go in the get on the highway. So boom. We turn the van on, guess what? That joint running like nothing ever happened. Now, mind you, the check engine light was still on when we turned it on, but it was running like normal. The check engine light was on, it was running regular. I know everybody was saying like, why wouldn't you just go ahead and take do the order? Absolutely not, because guess what? If we go take that order and that joint get to jerk like a new boy again, then what we gonna do? So, we're like, okay, cool. Let's just make it towards home. So on the way home, I'm researching, like, what could it really be? I'm thinking most likely it's the spark plug. I'm like, it gotta be the spark plug. That's the only thing that makes sense. A motor mount would not make the uh, check engine light come on. The air filter, I don't think that would make check engine light come on. I'm thinking it has to be the spark plug. So I YouTube it, right? I'm boom. While we ride, I'm YouTubing. I'm like, man, I'm looking at this job. I'm like, I low-key think I can do this. But I, so you gotta weigh the pros and the cons of things. I'm low, I'm low key thinking I can do this. I got the tools already in the back of the van. Boom. So what we, the plan was, I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe I'll just take it home, we get the parts today, and then tomorrow I can fix on the van and then get that joint right so we get our pockets tight. But then on the other hand, be like, we can call a dealership and or we can call this, these pay, this place we go to all the time. They fix all our cars. They fix the vet when the, uh, the tires and the stuff wrong with the vet. They fix the Infinity, they fix Snow White. They fixed all our vehicles before. So I'm like, I can do this thing. I'm pretty sure I can do it, but it's gonna take way too much more time than if I just take it to the place or the dealership and had them fix it. So I'm like, cool. Call the uh, mechanic shop. They're like, okay, cool. Yes, we can do it. If it's a spark plug, it's gonna be like $373. We are like, cool, because we did get a quote for spark plugs before. Mind you, this is another reason how I knew it was a spark plug. Mind you, when we went to the dealership the other time, the last time we went there, they told us we need to get some spark plugs, but we like, no, we're going to wait till the next time. Because, you know, hey, you can spend all this money. You try to make money, you spend all that money, and, you know, back and forth. So, boom. I'm like, cool, it's a spark plug. So, now, we're going to drop the van off to the shop, and we're going to get into this money. We're going to never stop. Drop the van off to the shop. Everything ran smooth. So, once I get home, I, I put the diagnostic joint in there. Boom, put that in there, check it, and it was some spark plugs. So, we end up dropping the van off. Now... Think about this, this is about life. I understand that this is a huge issue and it's a huge problem for, uh, most people will look at it in a negative way, like, dang, man, I just missed out on $200. I, hey, I feel like that too. But on the other hand, you gotta think about the positive thing and, and everything in life has a positive and a negative. The negative thing was we missed out on $200 and we gotta take the van to get fixed. But on the bright side, look at this. On the bright side, I'm glad this happened how it happened. I'm glad that we was on our way to pick up an order instead of us having an order and then it happened. And we was in a perfect place, a perfect location, and the van drove back all good. So, hey, you gotta take the good with the bad when you are trying to get to this bag. The moral of the story is, everything in life has a positive and negative to it. You just have to look at it how you look at it. And honestly, to me, I try to look at thing, everything in a positive way because it always can be worse. We could have been on the highway and then what if the tire would have blew or something? Tire blowing versus what happened, that was, the tire blowing is worse to me. A tire blowing is worse because we gotta get under the van, get the tire, the, the spare tire out, and there's way more stuff, and we on the highway. So 
I'm glad that this happened how it happened, and I'm glad we're getting everything fixed, and we're about to go ahead and get in the mix. So today we're going back to the basics. We're doing everything that we used to do. We're gonna turn on all the apps, and we're gonna see what pops up so we can pull up and we can run it up. We don't have anything. We don't have the, the wagon. We don't have no carts. We don't have nothing. We do have some bags, just in case we get an Instacart order or something like that. But other than that, we don't have anything, but it's time for us to go out here and try to get this green and in between. Let's go. And finally, we got us one on D-L-I-V-R-D. We about to pull up right now so we can get this G delivered app. We finally got us one on a delivered app. I know you guys be wondering what I be saying. Like, a lot of the stuff that I say, it comes off song. It's a reference from a song. The song this is referenced from is called, is, is the, the, the artist is Boosie. And the song is called Wipe Me Down. On the song, he say, B-O-O-S-I-E-B-A-D-A-Z-Z. -Z. That's me, wipe me down. So I changed it to, we just got us one on D-L-I-V-R-D. We about to pull up right now so we can get this cheese delivered at. So that's what I switched it to. So that's what I be doing. Hey, hey get this money, we're gonna keep on pursuing. Now, the pickup location is PF Chains. We're about to pull up and do our thing and get this change. We are picking up $535.75 worth of food. It says it's four items. We're gonna drive 19 miles for a payment of $81. 48 we pulled up it's time to get this cake and be great let's go oh yeah wait 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 wait. i forgot to tell you guys something so when i looked at the order i noticed that it's going to be on the second floor going to like this big building so we have to go to harbor freight right now and get us a cart because we do not have the wagon we don't have a dolly we don't have anything to get this green so we had to go get this cart and i do i want to say this honestly it's kind of working out in our favor because i thought about both of us thought about getting the cart before so we have to pull up to harbor freight we're about to get to this money and don't hate let's go this is it right here baby <coughs> we're about to get right we're about to get our pockets tight let's go yes sir how many how much longer uh we're pushing it out right now so okay hopefully Okay, no problem. Two thousand years later. <clears throat> Finally, we got everything in the whip. We're trying to pull up and get a grip. Look, we have been sitting here for over one hour to get this food. And about to get to this money and don't be rude. Let's go. <clears throat> y'all see what's going on. Y'all see the car, baby. Y'all see us. This, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it G real with y'all cuz. This joint is better than bragging. We ain't bragging. We about to get so much money. Our pants sagging. Let's get it. I have a gift for you guys. <laughs> okay. They don't want the bottle. Like this. All right, you guys have a good one. And just like that, it is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Everything went smooth at the drop off. Went there, uh, got that stuff situated, and we got in and out like a bank robbery. Now, for us waiting an hour, I want to say this delivery, you out of pocket. I just want to say this. We got an extra $11.25. So all together we made $92.73. Went out there to get that cheese, G. But waiting a whole hour for that order was out of pocket. And we only got $11.25. And that definitely ain't enough money to pay the rent. And we was riding around the business with no 10, but it's in the shop right now. But it is what it is. We ain't complaining, we maintaining. We getting this chain, gripping this grain, switching lanes. Guess what? The kick's insane. Check them out. <coughs> new balance, baby. What y'all know about some new balance? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you lock it tomorrow. It's going back down. We ain't playing around. Because on 2024, all we do is prompt up. Uh, let's go. But guess what? We got to go. I'll see you guys on the next one. We go, we go, we fooling. You already know in the DDK. And I'm on my way.